Stephen King's It was published in 1983 by Viking Press and was adapted into a miniseries in 1990 starring Tim Curry. It was terrible, but Tim Curry was great. The story alternates between the 50 setting, centering around seven kids facing an ancient, superpowered evil clown, and also a then contemporary 18 setting, where the kids are now adults and return to their hometown to take on the evil clown again. The book deals with themes of coming of age, loss of innocence, and childhood trauma. I've read this book, and it's quite good, even though it's a little hard to finish, but given that it's over a thousand pages long, that was probably going to be unavoidable. The 2017 film adaptation was directed by Ande Machete and written by Chase Palmer, Kay Fukunaga, and Gary Dobamon, and made over $700 million against a production budget of $35 million, becoming the highest grossing horror film of all time, and received positive reviews. I did see this movie when it was released, however I did not review it at the time because it was already out for a while, and I figured that the need for a review of it had already been fulfilled by bigger and better YouTube film reviewers than myself. But given that its chapter 2 is to be released soon at the time of this writing, why not review chapter 1? I have not yet decided which review will be up first. Probably this one now that I'm recording this. The main thing to note about this film adaptation in comparison to the original book is that where the book alternated between the 50s and the 80s, well, the movie updated it to an 80s setting because the sequel will obviously take place in the late 2010s. But this movie follows the storyline where we follow the kids because the storyline with the kids is what anyone remembers or liked from the Tim Curry miniseries. There is a lot to like about this film adaptation. Firstly, it is pretty scary. Muschete also directed Mama, starring Jamie Lannister, and proved himself to be an effective horror director then, and does better here. The cinematography, effects, pacing and lighting all help to create a very spooky experience. But of course it all falls onto the clown, and Bill Skarsgård is great as Pennywise the DANCING CLOWN! At the time, a few haters criticised the direction that was taken with the character, saying bullshit like I can't buy him as a threat, he's too scary to lure kids. But I don't agree at all. During the storm drain scene, he's actually very believable when he makes Georgie laugh and earn his trust, despite looking like a literal mime from hell. Which I think makes him even more dangerous. Shkashgord is both funny and terrifying as Pennywise. The child actors also do a great job as the Losers Club, giving nuanced and believable performances, especially Jaden Leibiber as Bill and Sophia Lillis as Beverly, with Lillis getting some great stuff to work with, being tortured, bullied and abused. Not to take away from Leibiber's performance as a mourner, but, well, Shkoshgod's performance was mostly physical, but these two give great emotional performances, and especially not to take away from the other child actors. They're all good. The music is also great, whether it was to be over the top gory scary, or subtler more creepy scary. But unfortunately the film is not perfect. There are a few amateurish decisions that are so frustrating that you're momentarily taken out of the movie because no one thought about these few things. I mean obviously hashtag change the channel, but movie, why did you have to keep kicking us in the balls for the 80s? And why are you starting the movie with scary music? Movie, you just started, it's okay to take your time. But they're minor enough not to detract from the movie in a significant enough way. If you like scary movies and other Stephen King movies, this is a very good one, and I have no doubt that Chapter 2 will also be good. Watch the movie. It's... Time to float.